Martine McCutcheon joins us now. We saw her in that clip. Good morning to you, Martine. Please tell us. Good you morning. Love, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Do you watch it every Christmas just like we do? No, oh, no. oh gosh, no, no. My yeah. family like to watch it and I can't bear to see myself on camera. I can do it when I'm on set and I'm looking at the monitor and being constructive. And then once it's done, it's done. So, yeah, my mum's like, oh, she's on, she's on. Come on, Martine. I'm like, mummy, you're never going to learn. I can't, I can't watch myself. Oh, it's such a hit, though. I mean, you can, people everywhere I know, they can go and rewatch them in cinemas at Christmas. You can go, I think, to the Hammersmith Apollo, where they've got an orchestra, yeah. live orchestra performing at the same time as it's being broadcast. People love it. Yeah. Yeah, they really do. And it's just so lovely that... Here we are 20 years later since it was made and it's just snowballed. It's just become this Christmas phenomenon that, you know, is so lovely to be a part of. And um, to talk to Diane Sawyer, uh, to celebrate the 20 years, you know, I think we're all, we all knew we were, we felt like we were part of something special, but I don't think we realised it would just be this huge still 20 years later, for sure. It's, um, it's, it's such, I still pinch myself that I was even in the film. So yeah, amazing, absolutely amazing. Martin, is um, Hugh Grant a bit of a dish? Do you find him sexy? Oh, yeah, of course. Who doesn't? You know, he's uh, one of the biggest movie stars for a reason. And um, he's uh, very humble about that. But I think, um, yeah, I think, I think he's lovely. And I think that, um, yeah, he definitely deserves his status as the, the rom-com king. And he's gone on since to do some amazing dramas as well. It's great. It's a great time for him. Well, look, Christmas uh, is fast approaching, 1st of December now. And look, lots of people will be tuning in to watch uh, that movie. But you want to talk this morning about trying to make sure people keep the drama strictly on screen. Yeah, I mean, I think that Christmas can be a tricky time anyway. Uh, the world's been through a lot. I think um, people are kind of making sure that they want to buy each other the right presents. And apparently one of the biggest fallouts that you have over Christmas is that people buy each other the wrong presents or an unthoughtful present. Um, or there's pressure that, you know, you're supposed to you know, not be single anymore. I know my sister's going to get that from our stepdad. Oh, yeah, again, you're on your own. Uh -huh. um, but basically I've joined up with the One For All campaign um, and they have like 55,000 stores, outlets everywhere from furniture, toys, fashion, jewellery, clothing, so that you can give a card that is an amazing gift and someone can actually get something they want and you haven't wasted your money. You don't have to do that kind of pretend you love it. Oh, love it you know, kind of face. So, um, yeah, teamed up with them. And what's lovely is that even though there are all these dramas and people sometimes dread that time um, of, of, of being with family at Christmas, um, apparently most people say that they are really pleased that they did get together and they did see them. And it is ultimately all about the love. Yeah. Do, are you, do you always spend Christmas with your family, Martine? Yeah, yeah, I'm normally the one that that hosts it. It seems to be like a running thing now that I've become like the Christmas queen and everybody comes to us and expects, expects us to host it. My husband cooks. I make sure that everything looks really lovely, play loads of music. We've got a big Irish background. Um, so music's always playing and we sing and dance. And yeah, it's a real time for us to um, embrace each other. And I mean, of course, we have our our moments with each other and drive each other nuts like any other family. But, um, but yeah, normally, you know, it's one, one day where you put all of that to one side and you just cherish each other. Oh, fantastic. I can't wait. I do love Christmas. Are, you, it's, it's are Christmas. you having turkey? Yeah, turkey and also beef. Bit of a mixture. Okay, okay. God, you really right. do do all the trimmings then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, I'm just curious. <laughs> Go for it. But I'm just curious, just going back to love, actually, um, we, we've got a new prime minister in number 10. Um, do you get invites from number 10 ever to come in? Obviously, in the film, you were in there working. I mean, did you even get to go in at the time? Have you been inside number 10? So many questions. Yeah, yeah. I was myself, 
Um, Richard Curtis and his other half, Emma Freud, we were invited to go to number 10 when Tony Blair was our Prime Minister and uh, I couldn't resist it. It said, don't sit here, but I had to sit in Winston Churchill's chair um, <laughs> and and it was amazing. But I surprised um, Tony Blair and took him in tea and biscuits. Um, he didn't know anything about it and um, it was, yeah, it was definitely a moment I won't forget, that's for sure. And it was amazing to be inside there looking at, you know, the real history of number 10 Downing Street, thinking of all those things those walls have seen. My goodness yeah. me. And it really does look like that staircase, doesn't it? The yellow wall with all the pictures. Yes. Yeah, they really <laughs> replicated it, like, brilliantly. I was like, wow, you guys have done the most amazing job. So, yeah, it, it, is, it was very, very similar to inside, spot on. Fantastic. Martine McCutcheon, thank you so much for joining us. Lovely to us. talk to you. Really